What up? It's Jimmy the Bag from Odds.com. This is a clip from our big Monday opening lines, early leans, college football show. If you want to see the entire show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It is exclusively on odds.com. We break down every single midweek game, and we hear best bets from John Ryan, Connor Mack, and Noli Knows. And we're coming off a big Saturday, which uh, helped immensely. Keep rolling. Get paid in full. And thank you for watching. The final midweek game we have is New Mexico Air Force. New Mexico 0-3 in the Mountain West. Air Force 1-2, and 0-2 in the Mountain West. Air Force Academy, Colorado, 41 Fahrenheit, clear, 6 miles per hour on Friday night. New Mexico coming off their third straight loss to start the year, 27-20 at home versus Nevada. They look better. They open up as 10-point dogs, quickly move to 7-point dogs. The Lobos can be beaten through the air. They are allowing 34.7 points per game and 410.3 yards. Of the 491.3 yards, so 410 out of 491 that they allow comes through the air. And Air Force can't do that. They can't beat them through the air. They only throw for 67.3 yards per game. They had to cancel last week's game due to do the positive COVID tests. We last saw them losing their second straight game, 49-30 at home versus Boise State. I want this... I, I, Dan, I, you know, it sucks that it's down to seven. And I understand why. I mean, Air Force just can't beat them through the air. This, to me, seems like a, a great spot for New Mexico to as a, as a big dog here. John Ryan, what do you think of this spot, Mountain West? Yep, on the initial power ratings, uh, you would we would have um, New Mexico – I'm sorry, Air Force favored by 17. Wow. But then when you adjust for the lack of passing, which is New Mexico's weakness – we see in the marketplace that we're at 10 and that's exactly right. Jimmy, the, the, the lean right away here is on New Mexico. Um, I like the under better though. And it's backed by a system here. That's gone uh, 67% winners over the last five seasons. Uh, you're basically betting under uh, with a total between 49 and 56 with both teams coming off games where they allowed nine or more passing passing yards per attempt. So both teams coming off a bad defensive effort, again, contrarian. And um, and that's it. The total has to be between 49 and 56. So I, I like the under. You put me down for that. The under for John Ryan. Speaking, Noli knows his language. Noli, what do you think of the under here? Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't have that type of system to, to, to tell me that. But when I look at these, the, some of the uh, numbers, when I look at – Air Force, yeah, they're not really producing through the air, but they only attempt about 11 passes per game. And uh, But here against a New Mexico team that their focal point has been to stop the run. They're only giving up 81 yards rushing per game. I think that's that's a big, big thing that I look at when you talk about how Air Force is going to be able to move the ball. Their offense hasn't looked good throughout through the season so far. Dealing with the COVID issues, how much rhythm are they going to be in? But one concern for New Mexico is dealing with the shorter week, dealing with the triple option. Can they get it done? That is the one question mark for me. Uh, that's what ultimately keeps me off. But, I mean, I would agree. I would agree with the under, but not a move for me. Just that one question mark. And just thinking New Mexico and under is still difficult for me for, to, for me to lay <laughs> that down. So, so I'll, I'll be off. I'll be off of this one. Very interesting spot here to close up the Friday card. There is the midweek action from our cappers. 